Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to upload local files to Google Drive with files info stored in Excel spreadsheet using Google Drive API in Python. All right, so this is an extremely useful utility tool. When you want to copy or move multiple files from one Google Drive account to another, or if you want to migrate files from Google Drive to a different cloud drive service, then this is a pretty good uh, utility tool to use. And before we dive into the tutorial, Make sure that you download the source code to this uh, google.py file from the link in the description below. Alright, so here I have an uh, Excel spreadsheet. Inside the spreadsheet, I have, let's see, I have four columns. The first three columns are going to be the file properties that I want to uh, embed it to the file when I upload the file to Google Drive. And the last column is going to be the file path point to the file itself. And I want to go to uh, Google Drive's documentation first. All right, so if you go to uh, Drive's reference page, and which I'll link the link in the description below as well. If you go to Files, under Files, you want to go to Create. On the Files Created Documentation page, you want to scroll down all the way down to, let's see, it should be on the Request body right here. And these are all the uh, properties that you can embed to a file when you upload the file to your Google Drive account or to a different Google Drive account. So since we can modify such as the file name, the uh, file creation time. So notice that uh, in the last column, we have writable for uh, each property and some of them should be read-only, but I don't see read-only in any of these properties. So assume that all these properties can be modified. And parents is going to be the folder ID we want to upload the file to. And for this exercise, I'm only going to embed the uh, file name for the ID and whether or not if a file is going to be stored. All right, so that's everything I want to cover in terms of the uh, general information. I want to dive into the uh, Python script itself. All right, so I'm going to uh, import the libraries first. So the first library I'm going to import is the numpy library. And you can start the library using the command pip install numpy. And to read the uh, info from the Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to spin this library. And to connect to Google API server, make sure that uh, you install Google API's uh, client package using the uh, this uh, pip install command. All right, so from the Google API client.http library, I'm going to import the media file upload class. And this class simplifies the uh, file conversion process. So when you upload a file to a Google Drive's account, we need to make sure that we uh, convert a file into byte strings first. Then from the Google module, I'm going to import the create service function. And that's all the libraries I'm going to import. Now I want to create a function to initialize the uh, Google Drive service instance. And I'll call the function init drive service. Inside the function, I'm going to provide my client secret file path. Then I need to provide the API name and the API version. And right now we're on V3 and the scopes. And for the scopes, I'm going to use the drive scope. And it's going to be https www.googleapis.com slash auth slash drive. They want to uh, create the service using the create service function. Inside the function, I'm going to provide the client secret file, API name, API version, and the scopes. They want to return the service object. 
And for uh, this exercise, I'm putting my files into this uh, my files folder. And let's see. So for my uh, Excel spreadsheet, I'm uploading six different files. And the uh, test.py script is now one of the files. So let me delete this file. All right, so if we look at the uh, table content, so in column A, we have the file name for the ID and for the python.png file. So when I upload this file, the file is going to be uh, uploaded to the uh, the main page. In some of the files, I set the uh, starter tag to false. So for the second file, full file and the last file, those files are not going to be marked as uh, start. And here we have the file path. Now I'm going to create a variable called uh, file folder. And it's going to be the folder path to the my files folder. Then I want to read the Excel file using the pandas library. So here I'll type pd.vxl. And the file name is going to be template. Uh, Excel SX and the sheet name is going to be files. And I just want to point out one thing that you don't necessarily need to use Excel, you can use other types of data files as well, such as uh, text file or CSV file. Okay. And the uh, creative function is going to initial the uh, authentication. And I'm going to choose the account that I want to use, I'm going to use the, uh, the third account. And on this page, click on events and click on this link to proceed. All right, so here I need to grant permission to my script. So I'm going to click on continue. And once you get to this page, you can close the tab. And here's the message, drive v3 service created successfully. Now if I put in the DFR job, and here's the uh, Excel table. At this point, I want to uh, iterate each row. So I'm going to say for row in div dot iterate rows. And I want to create a variable for file name. And it's going to come from the uh, row object. And because the row object is going to return the tuple, the first element is going to be uh, the index, and the second element is going to contain the uh, file metadata. And here I want to reference the file name. And I'll make a copy of this line uh, three more times. And it's going to be file path. And for the uh, for the ID, because we need to provide a list, here let me uh, change the name to for the ID first. So I want to insert a one line if condition, if row one, it's not row one, row uh, followed by the first element, giving the uh, for the ID value. If this statement does not return anything, then I want to uh, return none. Otherwise, I want to insert this. Inside the list, I want to insert the folder's ID. And this one's going to be started. Now to convert the file into uh, byte strings, here I'm going to insert the media file upload class. Inside the class, I can simply provide the uh, file path. And the class is going to take care of everything basically. And I'll name the output as media content. So we're almost done with the script. Here I need to create a dictionary. And I'll name the dictionary file meta data body. And this dictionary is going to store the uh, file metadata that you want to embed it to 
a file. The first part is going to be the file name. You can, uh, you can provide a different file name. You can provide a different file name uh, as you want. Yeah. And this one's going to be the folder ID. Followed by the star property. Then on to print message. Uploading file. Giving the uh, file name. Da, da, da. Then I can upload the file by referencing the drive service instance dot files dot create for the body it's going to be file meta data body and for the uh, media body this is coming from media content object that execute. And here, let me see. Oh, so this should be media content. All right, so this is going to be everything we need to write for the script. Now let me terminate this session and I'll pass F5 to run the script. Oh, and let me uh, log into my account first. Here, let me use a private browser. All right, so uh, here are the files, but let me delete all the files. And I'm going to re-upload the files again. All right, so if I uh, pass F5 to run script, And these are all the files. And this will be one file that is going to be uh, uploaded to the main folder or the main page. And which is going to be the python.png file. And if I click on starter, and these are the three files that in my Excel spreadsheet, I set the uh, start rating to two. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.